start off, we do want to mix it up, and uh, we'll, we'll move forward from there. Um, it's up to me to see the adjustments and make them. You know, it's not up to me to tell you guys what those adjustments are and make and, and you know give you the whole spiel. But um, just know that you know whatever it takes to win this fight, I am prepared to do it. Um, outside, inside, ropes, slugfest, whatever we need to do. I am a combination puncher. You know, there's not just one coming at you. And if it's one coming, it's a really tricky punch and you usually don't know where it's coming from, you know, or it's to set up something else, you know. So I think that's how we take care of his uh, his, his counter punching ability, which I, I don't take for granted. I don't take lightly at all. I know I can get in there in the first round and throw a punch and he's right back with the counter. That's the kind of fighter he is. And um, that's the kind of fighter I expect to come to the ring. I think either of us come in there slipping at all, slow at all, um, second guessing at all, hesitating at all and the in the in the tables turn so that's that's my game plan is from the gate from the gate go out there and, and be be aggressive be sharp be quick be fast um, and and let the race the race take care of itself any bad blood between you and Danny a lot of trash talk going on it, you know it's it's been fun up until this point i think now for me at least the, the talk is done no rebuttals from him that i could see you know no rebuttals from him so when I'm not getting that, that means I'm not getting the reaction I want, you know. Uh, I did do one post and he called me a clown. That was the reaction I wanted, you know. So um, since then, I haven't gotten much. So what's the point, you know. You're not you're not making him laugh, not making him frustrated, not not getting him outside of himself. Then there's no point in it. Are you surprised you wanted this fight and that you accepted this fight? I I do think that this WBC is what, what made the difference. I think if this fight isn't for a WBC title, he continues to wait like he did almost an entire year to fight again. Um, I think that the WBC was the deciding factor for him in this fight. Every fighter has a dream that they want to capture and you know, for some time now this has been my dream to capture the WBC title. And uh, you know, I'll say, I, I've said it publicly before, I don't take anything away from the other sanctioning bodies, but you know, I just know the family that this WBC title belongs to and that's the family that I want to belong to. I'm not saying that those other fighters that have won the WBC haven't won the other titles. I'm just simply saying that this green belt, my favorite color, gold on it, is what I want. <laughs> Somebody brought that to my attention today. Today They said, you got to turn it up. They said, uh, you're not fighting for just yourself anymore. You're fighting for my son Shaddai, Diggy. And uh, at first I was like, you're right. And then I was like... This is my moment, you know, I can't allow, you know, me thinking about my son or wanting to, you know, my son to be happy with what he, what I did. He's six months right now. He doesn't, he won't be able to really understand until he sees the video, you know. So I'm going to go in there focused on myself, focused on Danny Garcia and what I have to do to win. And trust and believe it'll be all over the, the social network when I take that belt home and he's chewing on it because that's all he does is <laughs> chew on stuff.